Welcome back to um, another Coding Bat tutorial. This time we will be doing Array 2, exercise same ends. Um, here the problem asks, return true if the group of n numbers at the start and end of the array are the same. For example, with 5, 6, 45, 99, 13, 5, and 6, the ends are the same for n equals 0 and n equals 2, and false for n equals 1 and n equals 3. You may assume that n is in the range 0 to nums.length inclusive. So if we look at the first example here, um, the integer len will be equal to 1. So that basically means we look at the first and the last number and compare them and see if they are equal. So here uh, we can see that the first number is 5 and the last number is 6. So because they are not equal, the function returns false. In the second example, len is equal to 2. So we look at the first two numbers, 5 and 6, and we compare them to the last two numbers, 5 and 6, and uh, the two are true. So the function will also return true. Um, and you can do the same for the third example. So let's get started. So um, instead of running, so first thing we want to do is create a for loop, but instead of running the for loop through the entirety of the length of um, the nums array, um, it's a better idea to run it a len number of times and instead um, progressively check at each um, each according number. So for instance, let's say the value, uh, if we take the first example, for instance, uh, we can just start from the first and then we can immediately look towards the last. And then in the second example, we can look at the first and we can look at the second to last. And then we can look at the second and then we can look at the last. So there will be a set distance between uh, the first that you look at and the last that you compare it with. And that'll just be moving up by an index but by one for each index of the array. So uh, we have the for loop that runs a len number of times. And then we'll take the first value of the array. And we want to return false if they are not equal. So we do not equals nums. And your first conclusion might be to just immediately compare it to the end of the array. And um, of course you put the return true at the end if the for loop runs and nothing happens. But if you see, it's actually wrong. So uh, what's wrong here? So um, Basically, what's happening here is every single time you're immediately comparing it to the last number of the array, even if len is not equal to one. So uh, you want to be able to factor in len somehow. So as you can see, um, the number you compare it to starts off with um, a len Um, starts off um, from a certain distance away from the end. So for instance, in the first example, because the um, len is equal to one, you immediately start um, and look at the end. However, in the second example, because len is equal to two, you look at the second to last. And then you look at the third example, and then you look at the third to last. So instead of minus one, you could do minus len. However, for every iteration of the for loop, you also want to increase the last number you are looking at. So um, ignoring the first example, because you only run the for loop once. In the six, second example, you look at five first, and then you look at six. In the third example, you look at 
13, and then 5, and then 6. So you add i. Run it one more time, and all of them are correct.